Um, hey guys, I'm going to show you a little bit of a how-to video. Um, just want to make a little shout out, um, to, um, I don't remember his, uh, his name or his, uh, you know, name. He commented about, um, I should do some more construction videos. If you are watching this, yes, I will. But I got bad news because school is going to start, well, today is Saturday and school is going to start next week or this coming week on Thursday. So I may not be able to get a lot of videos in, but I will, I will try to, um, so yeah. So I'm going to show you a few things of a how-to video, kind of. Okay. Um. It's basically based on farm toys. I'm, if you have like a farm set or, you know, big farm toys, like, um, I think they're called the, uh, 130, 132 scale. Um, so I'm going to, and, um, in real life, you know, I'm farming, you know, sometimes you have to, like, pull out a tractor or, um, if I can get this unstuck, you know, or pulling something out, but, oh, man, this is in a knot, no, oh, okay, here, and, um, yeah, and so this is a homemade chain I made, um, I found the chain, well, not homemade chain, but, like, a chain for farm toys, sort of homemade and sort of not. Um, you can get that, you can get them chains at, um, uh, Orsland's. Um, you can get any, how long, any, how, um, any size. Um, I don't know the length of that, but, um, anyways, what you're, um, and you're going to get, okay, so you're going to get the chain, and then you're also going to get some pliers. And you're going to open up one of the ends like this. How, um, you see how they're closed? You're going to open it up like that. Like this, okay? And then, um, you're going to get like an S hook, a small S hook like this. Um, I got this, um, uh, we're looking at the ruins of a burnt barn because grandma and grandpa are getting a new house, which is really good. Uh, they're building a house on their property. Um, because their old house is, well, they just needed a little, they just needed an, up, an upgrade. And so they burnt the barn down, um, which I wish I they didn't, but it's out of the way, it's out of the way they go. Anyway, so I was just walking, well, wait, yeah, Terry... I can't say the last name, just say, um, he had, and then when they was done, they buried it in dirt and stuff, and then, I, um, we were looking through mains, I found, like, a horseshoe, and then I found this little hook, and I had an idea, what if I added this to my chain, um, so I opened that up, that end up again, and I slipped that through, and then I closed it, and so now, what you can do with it is, um, Hold on, let me get my example. Let's see. Okay. So my example, what I'm going to do is my 5020 and my model D. Anyways, so, like, you're going to, you, what I really like about this is it's like an actual real chain. Because what you can do with it is you put you can put the chain like are we gonna wrap it around you can wrap it around the axle like that um, okay and then if you want to like tighten it or some you know you tighten it and then the op why I have the opening end is because I can slip it through one of them holes or wait hold on that's not right. Oh, come on, you. There we go. See? It slipped through the hole. 
And so then, when you go, you like that. It's really cool. I like it. Um, but I didn't get this chain at Orsland's. Um, dad and my uh, dad and one of his friends were like um, at the station. There's like a workshop they have. And um, Phil wanted some help. And so, yeah, I came with dad and I found the chain and I asked Phil if the station was going to use it. And he said, no. They said, if I can have it to use it. And he said, yeah, sure. Okay. And the other thing I'm going to show you is what you're going to need for this is uh, grain bins. Um, if you use like a certain seed, for example, I had uh, these little green BBs, um, but then I ended up working bad because then it was just completely everywhere. Um, so that didn't work. So now I just pretend to use green or whatever. But these are green bins, and I put BBs in them. So if you have this. Okay, not for us, but, um, so if you have that type of grain bin, okay, so put BBs in safely, you're gonna put, like, a duct tape, duct tape right there at the bottom, and then there'd be, like, a hole at the top, so then I took, like, a bottle, like, a plastic bottle, and I put the BBs in the bottle, and I carefully placed them in there, or you can just take the lid off and put them in there. Um, and then this one was really hard as a pain in the butt. So there was, um, the hole at the bottom. So what I did is I took cardboard and I put it around there and I put duct tape there so it'd stay in place. And so, uh, since this hole is really small and it doesn't open up like this, uh, it was really hard to put BBs in there. But, um, yeah. So yeah, now the grain bins are steady and still... It's just a really cool thing to add to your farm set. Um, and another thing I thought was really cool was I had a planter that I bought in Waverly as well. Well, Waverly that you had if you saw it in my video. But I made a three a homemade three point hitch for my uh forty ten. I'll show you guys um if I can get this okay. And they're, and it's May, dang it. Okay, guys, this is really difficult. I need to figure out another way to kind of do this. But for right now, it's just going to have to work. This is my whole way three-point hitch. I took, um, uh, so first thing that you're going to do is take take paper clip, and you're going to open it up until it's, until it's like a long length. Then you're going to put this around the cap. And it only works in some, in a in a way in a um, one of the ways has to be just right for the um, for it for the for the other part to reach it, which I will show you. Okay, so then you take not two other paper clips length, and I have a cabbed tractor, and so I wrapped it around there on um, both sides, and I took a small paper clip and I did that, and then I have. Another paper clip. Oh, yeah, here. And um, I will take it to there. And then, and if when I want to raise it, I will put the paper clip to here. Um, and so that will raise up the three point hitch. Um, the length that you're going to need, I am not quite sure. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't know the length. Oh, man, if I had a ruler in here, that would be awesome. Oh man, I'm I'm just so sorry. Um, if you find a forty ten like this. This is a collect. Let's see. Mm. Have the original box. It's a John Deere. F it'll look like that. Um, I'm just so sorry. I can't get the length, but so yeah, that is what it's gonna look like. So that's how you're gonna do that. Um, just really handy. So, um, I better get back to my farming simulator 2015 because, uh, I have a, because it's planning. And so, that's going to take some time. So, I figured 
why not just come up here and do it? So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.